guys great to see you so we're back so my question to you is how's the diet going how's the cardio how's the ab workout are you freaking killing it now a few weeks ago i did a video talking about how to gain massive muscle mass and i invited you the audience to join me as i get in the best shape that i ever been in a long freaking time if you haven't seen that video check it out as you got to start there because this kind of builds on itself and it explains why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now that video along with some of the other videos I've done um, for carnivorous will actually be linked down below on this page. And let me tell you guys, ask me anything you want to learn. I'm here to help you feel optimized and be in your best shape ever. Now last time it was all about getting the fat burning process started. This time I want to talk to you a little bit more about specifically about muscle building so what's happened to my body over the course of actually let's show you what happened so the pictures on the left was taken two weeks ago my weight was about 155 pounds now the picture on the right was taken today i weigh it in at 152 pounds so this morning i hopped on the scale and I weighed 152 pounds so on the scale I lost three pounds but what really happened is that I lost four and a half pounds and I gained a pound and a half of muscle in the past two weeks that's why it's incredible important to take picture and also get your body fat measured because the scale doesn't necessarily paint an accurate picture and when you start working out with weights or you start supplementing properly, your muscles are gonna fill out, they're gonna get more dense, and this density has weight. And so it offsets by the fat you're losing. And so on the scale, I've lost three pounds, but in actually in reality, I lost four and a half pounds of fat, but put on some muscles. I definitely can tell that my body is starting to change and it's freaking exciting. I haven't uh, like really dove into building muscle in a long time. I've been kind of in a maintenance mode for like the past uh, couple years now. Like we talked about in the last video in terms of fat burning supplements, L-carnitine, totally a natural amino acid. This stuff freaking shreds body fat. Now, I take this because that's one of the things I didn't really tell you how I take it. How I take it is three times a day. I take two grams in the morning with coffee, two grams at first meal, and two grams at dinner. In addition, I tend to do a hit cardio early morning fasted three times a week. So L-carnitine uh, works by transporting fats from food into the mitochondria. They then convert it into energy and this allows you to burn fat during workouts. And at the same time, it will prevent muscle failure, fatigue, and that sluggish feeling people usually experience, especially during dieting phase. And the energy that is produced from the fats can actually be used by the heart, the brain, and of course your muscles causing a positive effect on all three parts in the body. So that's why in the summertime, if you have seen some of my recent pictures, I tend to get quite leaner. Uh, the other thing is that I think it's essential for everybody that I talk about many times is eating your meat, fish, eggs, and organs and replacing any type of multivitamin out there. There is nothing freaking better in my opinion or should I say one of the best ones that I've ever used is eating raw liver twice a week, heart once a week, and bone meal or chewing on bones after being cooked for many hours to get proper calcium intake. This is your ultimate multivitamin that should be included into your diet. Now the other supplements I've recently started taking is more for muscle building, trying to get about a gram of protein per one pound of body weight, so I weigh like 152 pounds. I'm trying to consume around 152 grams of protein a day and sometimes actually even more. And this is usually done in the two meals a day I consume. Now, my main meals are typically, it's going to be around 75 to 100 grams of protein per serving. And since we are mostly eating meat, it's super easy for your body to assimilate and absorb without the overconsumption. I think, if you tend to consume more than that, 
it could tire out your gut based on how much acidity you have and or if you're new to this so start slowly and work your way the only reason on certain days i might hit 200 grams of protein above the one gram or more per one pound of body weight is this now correct me if i'm wrong but sometimes your gut isn't powerful enough to emulsify everything we eat um, and we tend to lose about 20 to 30 percent from the food we consume so if you typically consume 100 grams are you really getting 100 grams of protein maybe you could be digesting 80 percent or sometimes less and it's always plus or minus if that one pound of ground beef has actually 100 grams plus or minus i hope that makes sense so after my training, I tend to quickly consume about 10 grams of protein with other supplements such as d 5 grams, creatine 5 grams, leucine 5 grams, and of course 5 grams of dextrose to help enhance creatine along with d -ribose. Now keep in mind when you resist training, you have an open window of one hour that that glucose will be pushed directly to your muscles and not stored as fats. Then I wait about 30 minutes to about an hour I would consume my dinner with either meat or fish and of course I mentioned uh, 2 grams of L-carnitine so now let's talk about my workout if you're going to be joining me on this freaking journey to start lifting weights now I can't really give you all the details of the 6 weeks program in this video as it is quite long and because honestly it's not developed 100% still in the testing phase but as you can see from my pictures it's been successful but it's all about timing of your food and timing of your supplements and type of supplements now in the description below i will list the workout head training and what order i've done them so far i will list the intake of food supplements what rep range and what the superset like i'm freaking going crazy developing this plan i've actually been doing been doing it as i've been developing it and so far in the initial two weeks i felt amazing and you guys are going to feel freaking incredible so here's the quick details as you will find below monday i do chest and bicep tuesday i do legs wednesday i take a break from upper body i hit core uh, Thursday shoulders and triceps and I finish Friday with back as for the meals keep it simple and yes you could have a cheat meal that's why I call my carb load check out some of the videos about the carb loading with carnivorous eating that day is usually Friday for me I tend to cheat with last meal after my intense training uh, keep it simple and keep it simple carbs only there's no one right diet for everybody of course what works for me isn't necessarily going to work for you but what i've been doing is developing a plan um, that pretty much takes into account a lot of different lifestyle aspects and restrictions you might be facing once again it's not ready for release i'm still developing it and over the course of the next six weeks i'm actually doing it therefore in the meantime this is a start on your journey listed below if you want to uh, go above and beyond the initial two weeks send me a direct email and therefore i can customize a proper training with food intake and supplements based on your goals whether you want to put on muscle mass uh, lose body fat and look amazing then this is for you Let's get started by cleaning up your diet and plan for your performance. Cheers.